Now, at long last, I can finally go to Evermore. The funny thing is I have several quests in Evermore, and not a single one of them gave me a marker for Evermore on my map. We'll walk from... Well, is it even safe to go to Deep Crag Ravine now? I guess it would be. We'll just walk from Raven's Flank. We'll just walk from the other side of Arnima. A couple of Imperial Scouts. Patrolling the roads, seeing that everything is all okay. That certainly doesn't look okay. That seems a little ominous. It's a good thing we have the soldiers on the road, then. Oh, oh. Is that a witchman or just a mercenary? Oh! You came from Arnima, or are you one of those ridden with plague? No. <laughs> no, I don't have the plague. I came from Arnima. What happened here? The afflicted brother. They used to stay among themselves, but now they're turning sour, attacking any wanderer on sight. Lucky I was here for you. I would have been fine. I could be evade if there's a reward involved. Evermore has more than enough gold for every mercenary when it risk his grubby neck for coin. And yes, a situation has arisen that calls for you. For me? A feral beast stalks the paths of the hamlet next to Evermore. Witnesses claim that the beast is stricken with the same sickness as the others here. Man, beast, or Daedra, they're all meat. Oh, they <laughs> I took that the wrong way. They all meet their ends by my hands. Ready the reward. Very good. Return alive, and there will be ample amounts of gold and more awaiting you. Turns out I'm just hungry. It's like, ah, oh, they're all meat. I'll eat them no matter what. It's like, no, 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 they're all going to meet the same end. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes a little bit more sense than me just trying to eat Daedra, man, and beasts, but... Who knows, maybe, um... Maybe I'm just a big Namira fan. Am I even going to be able to get into town, or... Is it closed for the night? Oh, I can walk right through. Time to commission a replacement for my blade. An axe, maybe? Takes the puking heads off with one good swing. Axes are short. You'll get a face full of bile if you don't stick to the sword's reach. Besides, you don't have the gold for it. Don't mind me, Mr. Uh, I'm smarter about it. Walking I go on through. through. Their pockets before I burn them. Septum by septum. Inspect. In se the imposing gate before you is sealed tight. The aventuriers that are guarding these walls may be able to unlock it through coercion or favor. Does it? Hey, uh, hey, you. You all right? I, I want to go in. You. You were with the Imperials at the outpost, right? Killed off those damn orcs? I hope you made them suffer. How are you dealing with the plague? Scorched near every sickly horse and we've come across. So yeah, we're managing. Though their numbers don't seem to be dropping, they damn gain another two for every one we light up. God knows how many still live out there. And we can't be sending any more lads on their way. Don't want any more of us falling foul to this pox. Anything that we could do to stall it? Just the usual concoctions to stave off the disease. Nothing to have us rid of it yet. The priests are working tirelessly to brew up a remedy, no doubt. Yet I fear it may be too late when they do. Do you need any help in the meantime? How convenient. Yes, friend, we do need some help. You see... These orange skins aren't content with rotting away in some hole. They're turning vicious, lashing out and coughing their lungs out to anyone who draws near. And that bile they vomit can burn down to the bone. We thought the gear the kingdom supplied could protect us somewhat, but we soon learned otherwise. Go on. You may see where I'm going with this. Had a friend who caught the worst of their venom. Must have been sprayed through his visor. Now he's vanished, and had no clue to where, till recently. News surfaced that he's cozening up with the stick just north of here, up in the ravine. Too many afflicted for us to do anything just yet. What would you have me do? 
Now all we need is some information, get him to spill his agenda. And as you should expect, you're not going to go barging in there with sword in hand. So a friendly talk, all we ask. You capable of that? Sure. I can be friendly. Gift of the gab, not gift of the blade. Keep it calm and it'll go smoothly. And if that option's not open, then take this. Pop the flare if you sense trouble high enough so we can see. I'll send the boys over to cover your escape. Good luck. <laughs> Forever evermore. I love it. And where's that located? Okay, right over that You way. all right. The purpose of the giant stone installed before you, or before the gate escapes you. It must be connected to the war that surrounds the city. A last-ditch effort to protect the people from the encroaching plague. Those Redguard vultures have finally gone. That's one less burden we have to deal with. So... It out. In that case, I'm assuming that Make the quest that busy. he just gave me is going to be... How I get in. The defender of the Gate of Evermore told me of a rogue guard who slipped away from duty when he was seen bearing the mark of the afflicted. Yeah, I guess that right now is my main lead on how I can get into town. Even when I think I'm going to Evermore, even when I think I finally made it, no. They stop me. They say, uh-uh, not just yet. There is more for you to do. Hello there. Stop, you don't look marked. You've been sent by those city sadists. I came to aid the souls here. Give us one good reason to believe a word out of your mouth. Uh, that deer is coming right at you. The priests are conducting the charity mission. I come by the grace of Mara. You're one of those priests or missionary, right? Look, forget any perceived aminos animosity. You can't be too vigilant in times like this. Come in and spread your mercy. How'd you know that I named my sword Mercy? Now, I vaguely remember this area. I don't know how it just immediately, like, the memory snapped to, but... The second I saw this place, I was like, oh, okay, I remember this from when I played the mod previously. I also remember killing everyone here. Stench. So let's guy. maybe um, do a better job about it this time. Or hopefully do a better job at not murdering everyone this time. Mortier? You seem to be the head of this rabble. <laughs> Should probably ditch this hunk of iron. Doesn't take much to command authority other than a full set of armor. So yeah, guess I'm somewhat of a leader. And you? Didn't just wander in with an absent mind, I'm guessing. I was sent by the Temple of Mara to see what I could do to help. I was sent by the men at the gate. Tell me what you're up to. I am going to stick with the lie. You know, I was curious why we haven't seen them skulking about. Those arsonists, that is. Thought the dogs were hatching some plot to raise this dwelling of ours. The priests have called them back for now. <sighs> what a relief. Finally, the priests have gotten through to the military. <laughs> Not often does that lead to good. Yet they're desperate to seek a cure. A cure that won't come about through burning those who may carry it. All right, missionary. How do you plan to help? I need information on the activity here, the types of people and their plans, so we can suit individual needs. You know what? Before we give up such personal details, maybe you can do something for us. It's not enough to barge in proclaiming divine guidance and expect us to submit. We need something else, more tangible. Since you've been sent by the priests, you must have some sway with them. Else they wouldn't feel confident sending you. Now, I know for a fact those priests hoard a good number of potions to slow this malady. Their crests were found on each package that was sent over when I was still part of the kingdom. Now, you 
can have a word with those priests, get us those potions, and we'll get into the nitty gritty here. Got that? Understood. Good to hear. And, uh, you best not tell the priests about the specifics of this charity case. They may be men of mercy, but <laughs> politics and beliefs don't mesh. They also gave me a flare to use in case I was in trouble. Uh, those Aventurios guarding Evermore's gate are making plans to assault this refuge. Uh, let me not do that right now. Is this where I would send up the flare? I'm just gonna make a hard save here, because we have gotten in without attacking anyone. Whoop! Never should have come here. Well, that's, um, that's that. Come on. Ignore that. That did not happen. I had a feeling that was just going to be the cue for the flare, but I didn't know if it was going to be that I had to interact with something or if I had to use the spell or use the scroll myself. Now we know, and we're not going to do that again, because I would like to help the people here. I'd like to do this without bloodshed, like the Aventurier asked. One thing I want to say about the world design is I like the scale. It doesn't feel like things are too spread out. It's actually an issue that you might see quite often in designing a new world space, in designing a new playable zone. Sometimes things are too spread out, you see you spend way too much time just walking from place to place, but this is a good balance, I feel. This is a really, really, really good playable scale, I think. And I get it, that stuff's hard, so if anything, I'm happy to be like, oh, this is done well. This is a good kind of, like, size for, I almost said DLC, for the mod, for the new zone. A lot of grass. Make yourself busy. I need to give more to your health potions in order to gain his trust. Only have a couple left. May need to put a word into the city for a resupply. All right, take them. Hope that information is worth it. I'm waiting for there to be just very little information. I'm waiting for it to be just worthless information. We're like, oh. We gave you potions for, uh, for nothing? Cool. Got it. Oh, hey, uh, don't mind that flare. It's definitely not a, um, a warning at all. It's definitely not me leading an attack on you people. Let me also just discover this, because I think this had to do with another quest that I have. I was hoping I could discover it from up here. Lonesome Edge discovered. Look at the little outhouse. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Be wise to find some shelter. I want to be outside. I'm when sorry, it's I didn't mean down. to disturb you, ma'am. Oh, hey, the deer broke in, and now he's gonna murder all of you. Or you're gonna infect him. He's gonna infect others, and then we're gonna see a race of like super afflicted deer. Maybe he also wants to speak with the leader. Maybe he also wants to speak with Mortier. I'm warning you. Back off. Wait, what? 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 Why are they so mad? Be mad at the deer, not at me. Your potions, as requested. Let's have a look at them. Hmm. Pure. Distilled. Nothing seems to be floating in there. I was expecting you to bring me vials of piss. Glad you kept your word. Now I'll have to get these to those bedridden. May give them a few more months. So back to what we were saying before. What are your plans for this refuge? Look around you, missionary. This isn't a place one can live out their years. We have to find more land for food and people. Because if it isn't this sickness that claims us, then it'll be starvation. A far worse fate than burning, I assure you. Since this plague is bringing more souls to this little get-up, we're gaining more sway. Sway that we can use.
used to leverage some type of deal with the city south. What will you propose to them? Get them to pull back their butchers and have us settle some land east, upon some fertile stretch. They can wedge us between the many knolls out there and have us out of sight. If it means we can live on without the threat of a painful death. And if they refuse? It took four days for this affliction to fully turn me into the very people I slaughtered. I could have coughed my lungs out to my brothers in arms while they dozed off. I didn't, but it could have been so easy. This plague could have run rampant through their kingdom, yet it didn't. All through my loyalty to that banner. Now, if the kingdom seeks to spurn its loyal subject, then loyal it ceases to be. They need to remember that they're not the only plotters out here. Those threats may bring even more chaos. My time in exile has not been an idle piece. Many plans have been dwelled on. For contingency purposes, of course. What I'm saying is, they'll get theirs if my deal is turned down. Trust me on that. Okay. I'm still trying to keep it peaceful, and I still feel like telling him, oh, they may assault this fortress, or saying, oh, I have this flare to launch an attack. That's going to put me in hot water. That's going to lead to a little bit more of a, uh, a heated situation here. Make yourself busy. The rogue seems to be amassing a force to return to the cities. Damn fool. What does he hope to achieve in sending his sickly crew against the walls? Does he wish for death? Now as per our order, he has to be cut down, as well as those who colluded with him. We can't entertain even the threat of this disease breaching this gate. I've done my part. Cheers for the help. I was hesitant that you perform this well, but here you are with everything I asked for. Have this for a good day's work. The gate's open to you. For now, plenty of vices to blow your coin and have more. You can trust me on that. Don't cause any trouble now. Internal finger added. Man, oh man, you guys with the weird-ass spell tomes. Enchant your equipped weapon with the infernal hatred of a wrathful, neglected god of the reach. I'm telling you, these spells are just getting darker and darker. I also like how I went through all that effort to try and keep things peaceful, and in the end, like, well, we're going to attack them anyway, because they're also hoping to lead an attack on us. I'm like, well, all right, well, I did everything I could to try and keep it peaceful, but... You all right? Alas. Not the case. Alas, it wasn't that simple. It's never that simple, is it? And I could have avoided that as well, because we did have the one quest saying, oh bypass Evermore via the cistern. We did not do that at all. The question is, what quest do we start with? Let's start with continuing Red Dawn. Head to Kegor. It's hard to stay motivated when working for these city snobs. Well, you're not working for them. You're working for me. I'm working for them. You work for me. I make more... I should probably cut you in a little bit. I should probably give you a smaller... Uh, is there or not a small. I should give him a bigger cut of, of everything I get. Of the east is behind you. Live it up and enjoy evermore. If I were the cynical type, I, I would say these priests are using it. us to do their evermore dirty work. Evermore has become so wealthy. If you saw this city some thirty years ago, you would have thought that a dragon break had taken place. Ah, uh, uh, dragon break. It's just not natural to change so suddenly. Where did all the wealth come from? Why is the reach so distinct, like an ever-pervading squad you, right? you can never erase. Forty feet of solid stone tower to separate us from that despairing land. Force the world's woes from your mind and relax. Besides, this disparity cannot be contended. Our privileges are birthright. We are the gods chosen. They wouldn't bless us with such pleasures otherwise. Those born beyond Mara's gaze will never feel her radiant warmth. 
And who are we to argue against our most benign mother? And if we're being honest, the city can do without their stench. Watch it. There's good men back there, just brought down by a whole slew of bad. Ugh. You must be right, though. This is a just world, after all. No one would suffer if they didn't deserve it. Right? You're like, hey, watch it, but I guess you're entirely right, sure. And just goes about his business, he just goes about his day. Is there ever a smile to be found among a guard? The gloom of the age is behind Yeah, you guys keep worshipping these griffins, they might not be as, uh, friendly as you think. Oh. Oh, is this like a, uh... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna be like an end roll thing where I could travel around using this. Ooh. There's a brothel, the market, the palace, the temple, and the inn. The brothel and the temple. Same direction, huh? How about that? I'm gonna need to get up to the palace, I'm pretty sure. Something you need. Is the manor for sale? Indeed it is, and it has been for a very long time. Even I wouldn't be able to afford such a grand property if I sold everything I own. So we'll get this over with. See how much you're actually worth. The manor is selling for 40,000 gold. Shot! Blame the plague. So are you still interested in going forth with this venture? I didn't say I was shocked, you just assumed that. I would like to purchase the house. Huh? And you're not joking? Finally, someone with deep pockets has come to Evermore. I hope this manor is to your liking. Although, I must inform you, the property is without furniture at the moment. Talk to me again when you want to decorate your house. The voice actress sounds so familiar. I hope I have what you're looking for. Living room? Oh, combat theme. Can I get a non-combat theme? Luxury theme. Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. There you go. Bathroom. Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. It's a very sharp X in the excellent. Bedroom. Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. Kitchen. Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. General decorations. Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. Observatory. Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. What's the exterior? Eh, I'll do the exterior. Why not? Excellent. I'll have it arranged immediately. Till next we meet. All right. Now I get the manor. Where is the manor? That's a good question. Fortunately, it was a miscellaneous quest, so I can just pop that on, and now I've got a marker telling me where to go. Really, really, really good soundtrack for the mod. I think I've already mentioned it, but I keep on listening to new and new tracks. I'm like, oh, this is great. Oh, this is excellent. Is that my manor? I think it is, yeah. I saw the crafting station, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure that's the one then. Yes, yes it is. I did say I wanted luxury, and man oh man, do I feel real luxurious right now. I got throw pillows, I got a fountain, statues. It's funny, because in Arnima, they kept on calling me a stupid, dumb Nord. I'm like, oh, well, this stupid, dumb Nord had all the money in the world. He had more money than all of you combined. He's the one with the fancy-ass house. I'm not going to spend too much time here, obviously, but hey, I wanted it. I wanted to see what it would look like, at least. I have a feeling the texture might be missing on those pillows right there. Just a hunch. Here's my bathroom. Does it do the thing where it takes my armor off if I step in it? It doesn't. That's not a complaint. I was just wondering, because I know that's a fairly common feature for a lot of houses that I see that have uh, 
bathrooms and the like. Ooh, here's the observatory. Yeah, this is real nice. This is very, very, very nice. You don't want to see my observatory? You don't want to observe it? Hey, don't make this a habit now. Well, don't stand in the open doorway and it won't be a problem. In that case, let's head up to the palace. Griffin's perch discovered. Yeah, this all is starting to feel very, very familiar. On the way here, I passed the training hall for the city guard. I was like, oh, I remember seeing Mech and Sec there. I remember that area. You were with the Imperials at the outpost, right? Kill all those damn orcs off? I hope you made them suffer. Any heart bleeds rather than fear it. Forgive me, but it's simple logic which dictates that such a ragtag militia of orcs can't resupply and arm themselves this fast without help. Every time they sustain massive losses, they seemingly come back with a force sporting even more numbers than before. Oh, these damn orcs. Ahem, beg my pardon. I shouldn't air my grievances for all to hear. Well, keep to your investigation. And whatever details you find, make sure to voice them with Horister, as I have my own matters to deal with currently. I will, and thank you for hearing me. I'll have my leave and return to this case. Hopefully I can find someone else to help as well. What's on your mind? Nothing. Hello. Wait, who's... The gates on our brothers like that. I was just curious Golden who was talking, I just wanted to see who else was talking. Kagor? Make yourself busy. Jackos told me to speak with you about the Red Guards we routed near the bog. Jackos, huh? I haven't spoken to that wily dog in a while. Oh, that's right. Must have been among the letters. Thanks for reminding me of my mounting paperwork. Yet if what you say is true, and those Red Guards are gone, then we can commence stage two. And that's ridding them for good. What are you planning? Got what seems to be scouting posts up the river. Serving to guide whatever red ship comes sailing our way. We would have dealt with them already if it wasn't for the hazards such confines bring. Any skirmish could quickly flip to slaughter in a heartbeat. Sounds like a job better done alone without raising any alarms. Tell me, what needs to be done? You've got a mind for strategy. Since our scouts are hawking other targets, you may need to undergo this one alone. Can I bring Ulker in? I'm more than comfortable working by myself. I can see that. Well, since you're so eager, these are the three last known locations of those posts. Burn whatever equipment that may exist there, and pacify any hostile threat in any way you see fit. You can always bring another, but you gotta know when company becomes a crowd. Right, give us your map. I'll link the three areas where those posts were last seen. It may be that the posts remain, but the people attending them do move a lot. So, expect small resistance. Shouldn't be much trouble for one of your craft. To reiterate, burn all the gear you find. Make sure the Reds can't set up camp anytime soon. Understand? Understood. Great. Maybe now these river rats will get the message. Good luck to you. I'll make sure the reward is waiting on the table when you return. Now the cool thing is, leaving the other side of the city, it now says High Rock. Because it is in two distinct areas. This serves kind of as the middle ground between the Reach and High Rock, and I do like that we actually get a different name to the different zones because of that. I like... Bloody Mara, that ain't something you see every day. This song, but part of it did not necessarily feel like it fit in as well. There was a little guitar riff, which was really, really cool. It just stood out a little bit. With a cynical type, I would say these priests are using us to do their dirty work. Oh, of course they are. No question, Ulcarin, no question. If anything, I don't want to take on any more 
quests right now. I just want to go based off the quests that we already have, because I have... How many? I have... Oh, I still need to do this one, too. Uh, Entman talked about seeing a bishop at Evermore. Yeah. That's one, two, three, four, five, six quests that I currently have in progress. Yeah. Let's try and work through some of those first.